This is a very serious message that bosses from Netflix are truly sending Prince Harry, but there's a bigger reason behind it as ever. Let me explain. Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you today. I hope you're all keeping well. Thank you, by the way, for your lovely comments about our recent look back at royal festive traditions and what they have done, you know, to update it. I know, Monopoly. Yeah, I think a lot of you agree, though, that can start ructions, can't it? And I agree with quite a lot of you. You say it takes too long. I like simple things like snakes and ladders, don't you? <laughs> Who remembers Operation as well? Do you remember that game? Kaplunk. Do you remember that one? Yes, you know, there seem to be a lot more games and sort of toys where families got around those toys uh, years ago. Now, everything's high tech, isn't it? You're either playing on your phone independently or with a group of people you've never met. You can understand why the royals stick to things like charades. I bet the Queen was great fun at charades, though, don't you? Yes, you'd have to let her win, I guess. Well, yeah, well, you're the same. Oh, I can see. Yeah, well, all right, back off. I'm only suggesting we play. Yes. Right, I'll have a game of charades later, you never know. Bit of fun. Back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day. Now, what I find funny about this particular thing, and I've said to you this many times before, when you work in the world of show business, you know, there's what I call the golden period. You know, they like you. You know, so, oh, they think you're marvellous, you know couldn't do enough for you, all that sort of stuff. And then they don't bother. You know, they sign you up, the world, and if you do not deliver, the bottom line is, then things get very tough very quickly. And having worked in television and the broadcast arena a long time, it's all about ratings. If you can keep pulling people in, then you're fine. When you look at somebody like Matt Lauer, the former uh, Today host, you know, a lot of people knew what was going on over at NBC. I worked there for many years. It was, you know, one of those talked about things. I didn't really know, obviously, who he was, if I'm honest, you know. When I went to New York, he wasn't a big cheese to me, but of course he was bringing in ratings and advertising, so people looked the other way. The same could be said, of course, for Prince Harry. With his now ubiquitous docuseries under the covers, you know, what use is he now to Netflix? His Heart of Invictus has proven to be a bit of a disaster. And more importantly, they decided to openly trash him in the final series of The Crown including the Nazi uniform and portraying him as something as a, a drinker, as a spoiled brat against his elder brother, of course, Prince William. But why did they do it? Well, according to a very well-placed source, it's simply this. Netflix has sent it out a signal. And the bottom line really is, you know, either you give us what we really want, which is more royal gossip, or your deal's in doubt. It's as simple as that. A lot of people keep, you know, reiterating this story. Oh, they picked up 88 million, they picked up 100 million from Netflix. You don't get the money till you deliver. You get a part and bit of the money, but you certainly don't pick up the whole money. And that's now what Prince Harry is truly finding out. What I find fascinating about the whole story is that people just, as I say, keep reiterating it. The reason why they fired these missiles through the TV was, as I told you the other day, they're now looking at Prince Harry's book, Spare. They feel that that could simply be turned into the next big royal series. They don't need his permission, the book's in public domain, and the bottom line is they will feel they've paid him enough money already. So if Harry felt that Netflix was truly on his side by watching the latest series of The Crown, I've been told even he was shocked at how far they simply turned on him. But as I said at the start of this video, show business is a cruel mistress. Fine when your ratings are good, and when they're not, as in with the heart of Invictus, you find out, of course, that people very quickly turn against you. Welcome to the world of broadcasting Prince Harry. Apparently a company and, of course, an entertainment thing that you are enjoying very much, according to your wife, Meghan Markle, on the red carpet of that variety event. Neil Shaw, of the very heart of London.